Hi and welcome to this DCP Web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Divi Theme onto WordPress. So let's open up the web browser and you can see I've got a basic installation of WordPress here. It's on a test domain at the moment. And if I go into the admin control panel and go to appearances here, you'll see that I've got the default theme. WordPress normally installs this theme as default. But if I go over to this website, it's called Elegant Themes. And here we can purchase and download and install the Divi Film theme builder. So what is that all about? It's the most popular WordPress theme in the world and it's the ultimate visual page builder. So rather than writing code, you can build your website using visual based tools, right? So it's a different way or a different approach to building websites. So with this particular website, I have an affiliate account with them. So I'll put my affiliate link in the YouTube description. So if you decide to purchase this software, it will be great if you can use my affiliate link. But let's go ahead and look at all products quickly. If I click here and go to Divi all in one theme, um, you can watch the video here and it explains a little bit about it. But it's just a, a nice simplified way of building websites for multiple devices so it's fully uh, responsive design i won't say it's the easiest thing to learn and understand but at the same time it's much more simplistic than learning code right learning code base although you do need to have a bit of code knowledge but i'm going to be making many tutorials explaining how to use Divi builder to build different types of websites let's quickly go over to pricing so you understand what the costs are involved so there's one license complete access unlimited websites unlimited users so you know, there's over 700,000 people using this particular software, so it's quite popular in terms of a, a theme builder. There are other ones out there, but this is the one that I'm using at present. You've got two options. You either got a yearly access. If you're just going to build it, if you want to use this just for one website, maybe, or if you want to test it out for a year and just get um, familiarized with the software, because it's not just Divi, you've got Extra, Bloom, and Monarch. So these are different tools that you can see in here. You can read a little bit more about them, but some are good for magazines. Um, some are good for like email campaigns you've got a plugin for email campaigns and social media like bookmarking and social media sharing so when you buy this software you don't get one piece of software you actually get one two three four five different applications for that price so there's yearly price at 89 and then there's a uh, a lifetime access which is what I have which is 249 pounds but you get unlimited updates right and you can use it on unlimited websites with here you can only use it on um, you can use it on unlimited um, websites but you have to pay a yearly fee of 89 or you pay 249 dollars and you can use it on unlimited websites and you get unlimited updates so any security issues any bugs they'll fix it and you can update your theme so let's go ahead and click on account and when I can log into my account now uh, so I already purchased this software. So let's go ahead and log into that account. Um, so here's my login and I'll put my password in here. And when we log in, uh, you'll see the members area here and you get the option to download Divi Theme or Divi Builder. I will be doing some more in-depth tutorials explaining the difference between these. But Divi Builder, really, you can use this on other themes, right? So you can install Divi Builder to work with other themes. That's typically what it's used for. But the Divi Theme itself is the, the Visual Builder and the Theme Engine itself. So it's all in one package, right? So I'm going to click download the Divi Theme here. Let's download it. And it's going to download this little file. So let's just drag this to one side and we'll open up this folder and it's not a small file in terms of a, a plugin right it's around nine megabytes so you need to make sure that your hosting account is set, set up in the right way to accept uh, a nine or ten megabyte upload file right so let's go ahead and try and install this we'll go to our wordpress admin and we'll go to uh, appearances and in appearances we're going to click add new so we'll click add new and you'll get all of these different themes that you can select from the default WordPress. But we want to upload a theme. So we're going to click upload theme here. And we're going to choose a file. So we're going to click choose file. And then we're going to go to this folder. And we're going to select this Divi zip file. Click open. And then we're going to click install now. So it's going to take a little bit of time because it's a 9 megabyte file to upload, to unzip and then to install. So we'll be a bit patient and we'll take it for a quick test run just to see that everything is working correctly. I'll be making lots more WordPress tutorials using different techniques, some for e-commerce, some for sort of standard websites, right? Uh, a wide variety of different tutorials using different types of plugins to achieve different uh, effects and outcomes. So we'll wait for this to install. So it's unpacking it now and it says the theme installed successfully. So if we go back to appearances here, 
we'll see there's an option to select Divi theme now. So you can activate it, you click activate here. And now that theme is active. The one thing that you must do is go to the uh, Divi options here and go into Divi theme options here. And then go to updates here and you need to put in your username here. So I'll typically put my username, the one that I log in with, and you need to generate an API key. You need to put that in here and that allows you to get updates directly in WordPress. So whenever Divi needs to be updated, you can do that directly in WordPress. Uh, if you go to Elegant Themes here, the website, when you log into your account, you can go down to Username and API Key. Click here and just follow the basic instructions to generate an API key. Copy that key and then paste it into here with your username and then click Save Changes. And now the theme uh, will get updated. Whenever there's updates to be done, uh, you'll be able to update them using your WordPress rather than having to go to DV Themes and downloading it again. Yeah? So if we go back to the main website and refresh, we'll see the, there's a bit of a change here now, right? You've got this footer section down here. You've got Hello World here. You've got the DV um, uh, logo here. If we click Sample Page, then you'll see some sample test content in here. If we click Enable Visual Builder, what that will do is convert that page into a Divi page, right? So we, you can follow the tutorials here. This little pop-up will show. I'm going to say um, uh, use existing content here for now. And now you can see the module in here that allows us to start adding content. So if I delete this one, for example, and this is called a section. So the blue content is called a section. If I delete that, uh, you can't. You actually have to have one section in there, right? So let's just show you a couple of examples of things we can do. So you've got a section. The green button represents a row. So it says add a row. We can click add row, and we can add one column row, two column rows, three, five, whatever we want. Let's just say, for example, we add a two column row. So here we've got two column row, and then these are all the different tools that will appear. So you may want to add some text. You can do custom code. You can write comments. Uh, you can do like opt-in emails. You can do image galleries. There's so many different options in here, but maybe we'll do like a number count, for example. So we're going to count up to a percentage, and it's saying 50%. So let's set it to 95%. Let's set it to 99%. That's a better number for me. And then your title goes here. Let's just put get DB installed and let's set it to 100% because we've done that job. So let's click OK and then we'll see get DB installed and it's 100% here. Then on this side, you can add some other type of content. You could add a picture, you could add some text. So let's try and add a picture. Let's just type in image and then when we type in image in the search, we get the image option and then we click here. One thing you can do actually is take this um, this tool and drag it to the side and it becomes like a tool that sits on the sidebar and I find that a bit easier rather than having to drag it across. Uh, let's click here and let's see if there's no pictures. So we haven't got any pictures. So let's go to Unsplash. Uh, normally you compress your images right before you upload them, but we'll just upload an example. So let's just take, um, let's just type in something like computer here. Let's type that in correctly. Computer work, something like this. And maybe we'll take this picture here. Let's download it. So normally I would go and edit this image in Photoshop or in GIMP software, compress the image, resize it, right, before I upload it to um, before I upload it to WordPress. Otherwise, the file would be too large. So let's just see what file size it is at the moment. It's like uh, let's see, it's like two megabytes, right? So let's go and fix that quickly. That's a bit silly to upload something that's two megabytes. So we can do that in um, let's say. Let's just do that in Photoshop. Let's just open up Photoshop. May as well do this right. If we're going to do it right, we may as well do it the right way. I don't like to do things uh, incorrectly. So I'll be doing a lot more tutorials explaining image compression and the reasons behind it and so forth. Um, but here we've got Photoshop open. So let's just drag that over here. Let's just drag our image into Photoshop. And here we can see the image and uh, it's pretty big, right? It's like 5,000 pixels wide by whatever image it is. So we're going to go to image and we're going to go to image size. We can see that it's 5,000 pixels wide. We probably need this to be no more than 500 pixels, yeah? And we're going to click the lock so we can lock it on the aspect ratio. So it'll be 500 by 333. We'll click OK. Now it's going to be a much smaller image, but it will still be good quality. We can zoom in and see it. Right, that's going to be large enough, more than large enough for what we need. And let's just export this. So let's go to export the image 
and we'll set we'll leave it 100 percent compression because i'm going to show you one more thing afterwards so let's just call this uh example image dash zero one we'll save this let's minimize this so really what we've done is we've taken that image from unsplash here the original one and we've compressed it from 2.3 meg to 178 kilobytes and now we're going to recompress it one more time so i'm going to go to this website called compressed jpeg and drag and drop that picture into here and i'm going to download it and i'm going to show you a lot of this stuff uh, in future tutorials but really what we've done is we've taken an image which is 2.3 meg compressed it in photoshop to 178 kilobytes and then recompressed it all the way down to 44 kilobytes right if, so if i open up this image put it on this side take this image put it on the other side although it's a smaller image the quality is pretty much there for the size that we want right the image quality hasn't depreciated because we want the image to be roughly this size anyway and we, we should really measure it out a bit more accurately but for this test i think it's fine so we just rename this one to uh zero two that's what i normally do and you can delete these other ones if you don't want them we'll keep it for now we'll go back to wordpress here we are and it's asking us to drag and drop a file in here so we we'll drag and drop it it should give it an alt name so we'll just copy this uh, let's just call it example image for now let's uh, spell that correctly would help example image we'll give it a title here and click upload image now we've got that image in divi builder right so it's set to um landscape at the moment but now you can see the text or the uh timer the counter on this side and the image on this side and then we can go ahead and add another module so we can click this little gray button and then maybe we want to add some text and we'll add some text in here and i might write something like just showed you how to install dv themes builder Also add a counter and image which has been compressed. All right, so we've got a bit of text there. I might just copy this image has uh, which image has been compressed. I might copy this text, paste it one more time, just as a just to fill out the space here, and then we'll click the green button. And then we can exit the visual builder really you should click this purple button and save it and we'll add a logo and start to build out our navigation here but let's just exit the visual builder and now we can see the time the you know the, the percentage is ticking up we've got our text here and we've got our image here and if we were to resize this on the screen so if we just resize the browser you can see that it's responsive for mobile and tablets doing all that good stuff right so it's responsive let's just show you one other more powerful thing in divi builder let's just show you what it can potentially do and we're going to be making some nice websites using this software i'm going to click on the little cog icon on the image and we'll just drag it to uh, let's just drag it to this side for now here i'm going to go to design i'm going to go to animation and i'm going to click flip so now we can flip this image or we can fold it or we can have it slide in we can have it sliding from the center we can have it sliding from the left so maybe we'll have this image sliding from the left and i'm going to put a delay on it so i'm going to say i don't want you to slide in until 500 milliseconds half a second right and we'll click ok and then we've got this little counter going so we can click on the cog there go to design go to animation and maybe this one we will bounce it in so it bounces like this and then the text itself uh we're going to set that to animation we're going to slide it in from the left from the left side so we want to slide in from uh, the right hand side going this way or slide to the right should i say and we're going to set that to one second delay 1000 milliseconds so there's going to be some delays between this content this will show first then this and then this will slide in so if we exit the visual builder and save it we can watch that sequence happen now right so now we can build in some basic animation and we can do much more complex stuff than this uh, this is just giving you some basic demonstration i didn't i didn't want to install the plugin and then show you nothing i thought i might as well show you a few little tips and tricks and we're going to 
you know in future tutorials i'm going to be showing you how to create custom headers and custom footers and do lots of interesting things and how to build web pages using the Divi Film Builder. So if you decide to purchase this software, it will be awesome if you can use my affiliate link. That way I'll get a little commission from it. And that way it helps me to fund these tutorials, to spend time making these tutorials to help you to learn how to use the tools, right? So it's a win-win situation. I get a bit of cash and I use that money to spend time to make these tutorials for you. So let's minimize this. That's how you go about installing the Divi Film Builder. It was a little bit longer tutorial than I expected it to be it should have been really short to be fair but I thought I'll show you a few uh, tips and tricks on how to use some basic content within the DV builder I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial